Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Known as the world's oldest wooden statue, the Shigir idol is thought to be 11,500 years old, meaning it was made during the Mesolithic period, shortly after the end of the last ice age. It was discovered by gold miners back in 1890 inside the peat bog of Shigir, on the eastern slope of the Middle Urals, approximately 62 miles away from Yekaterinburg in Russia. The large statue was extracted in 10 parts, and when they were put together it was a massive 5.3 metres or 17 feet in height. When it was first radiocarbon dated back in the 1990s, its age was 9,500 years old, but later analysis by a German team pushed back this date by a further 2,000 years. Experts have shown that the tree used to make it was 159 years old, and it was carved using the jaws of a beaver with teeth intact. The head has clear eyes, nose and mouth, and the body is slender, flat and rectangular. On completion, the surface was polished with a fine-grained abrasive, after which the ornamentation was added, with at least three different types of beaver jaw chisels used, as there are clearly three distinct blade widths. Its surface is decorated with geometric motifs, including zigzag lines, eight depictions of human faces as well as hands. Horizontal lines may represent ribs, and there are lines broken in chevrons. Due to the number of faces, some say it resembles an ancient totem pole. Experts say it stood over the Shigir Paleo Lake before it turned into a peat bog, but only stood in that position for around 20 years or so. But, like the other totem poles found around the world, evidence suggests the Shigir idol was not dug into the ground, but was simply propped up against a tree or a rock face on the shore of the water, as this fabulous reconstruction from the Siberian Times shows. Links to an article from the Siberian Times can be found in the description below. Speaking to the Siberian Times, Dr. Mikhail Zilin, the lead researcher at the Age Archaeology Department in the Institute of Archaeology in the Russian Academy of Sciences, said, Based on the facts, I can clearly say that it was not dug into the ground, like totem poles. It was standing on a relatively hard, presumed stone pedestal, because the lower part got flattened by strong pressure, and this sculpture was quite heavy. The idol rewrites history in that before the discovery of Gebekli Tepe, academic circles did not expect Mesolithic hunter-gatherers to be so talented in art. But finds like the Shigir idol and Gebekli Tepe are already giving us doubts on the true timeline of human development. Things are being pushed back all the time. Apparently, it only stood for 20 years because a large crack appeared in the middle, followed by a series of smaller cracks. This caused it to fall into the lake, where it floated for around 12 months before sinking to the bottom and peat formed around it. There is no evidence it was held up by any other structure, no support beams or forks, but it could have been strapped with leather to keep it in place. Some believe it was actually floated on a raft, and therefore it stood in the centre of the Paleo Lake. And although this idea does seem to work for me, there is no evidence, but the experts can say for sure that it did stand on a stone base. Back in 2019, a number of media outlets ran headlines saying it contained the faces of demons, but that was just a clickbait way to increase traffic to their sites, and has been taken completely out of context. A scientific research paper on the statue did say the idol may depict the faces of demons, but that doesn't mean evil spirits as the media have led you to believe. By demons, the experts simply meant that the statue may be depicting spirits, and not deities, because gods are believed to appear later in human social evolution. As we see from cave art and other Mesolithic sites, the people of post-Ice Age Earth clearly had a complex view of the Earth and some have interpreted the archaeological finds to say that Mesolithic people believed that animals, trees and even stones, basically the natural world, was populated with spirits. But of course, this is just educated guesswork. Dr. Zillin said, I see in these images unity and diversity of the world that surrounded the creators of the idol, which clearly wasn't divided into kind and evil spirits. We are a long way from unravelling the ancient code left by the creators of the Shigir idol. 
There is nothing in the world similar to the idol and no written data left. The truth is, the artifact is clearly very ancient and although we can analyse and describe it, nobody knows with any certainty what it meant to the ancient people and also what it symbolised. It stood either on or next to an ancient lake. It was clearly an item of importance due to the amount of work and craftsmanship that went into it. And it clearly meant something to a local population. Maybe it was a totem pole and portrayed faces of the spirit world. Or maybe it depicted the likeness of the elders of a particular community or family. Maybe it was tribal, a territorial marker, but your guess is as good as mine. It is a true ancient work of art and it is thanks to the peat preservation that it has survived the test of time. A true insight into the minds of our ancient ancestors. Thank you for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.